On Happiness Road by Xin Ying Sang, Taiwan, 2018. I don't really have much to say about this other than it's really good. It's really, really good. It's really simple too, in a relatable, poetic manner. That is, I really don't have bad things to say about it. I don't have any particular criticism to point out here or there. I don't have that much in terms of witty remark about it. This was just a really well-rounded film. It's about a, a woman who is coming back to her native land of Taiwan after a brief period of time she spent in the USA with a marriage that's failing and she reconnects with her roots and uh, her family and the people she grew up with and the place that um, stores all of her childhood memories and it's essentially a story about that, a story about coming to terms with what being an adult is like and what attaining happiness would really entail in that regard. It's coming to terms with the naivete but also the joyful memory of childhood contrasting with the much more sobering and uh, decisively less whimsical reality of becoming an adult. And in that sense, this film is just so precious, so pure, so nice, so relatable at times. It's brimming with energy and passion for both itself and the director's native land of Taiwan. It's about reconnecting with a part of yourself that you thought you needed to get away from, but it turns out it's inherently a part of you that you should not neglect. It's about reconnecting with your parents, with your family, whom have been loving and supporting you and they fought the best for you. Even though you felt you needed to go to your own path in life, which is great. It's part of the experience of growing up. So yes, like I said, I don't have that much to say about it. It's really well made. The characters are all very likable. The protagonist is a bundle of joy to follow through throughout her life, I should say. I think also this is one, on a side note, this is one of the few films that actually captures what it's really like to go to school for the first time, to really start your first day of school, in grade school specifically. And it's full of uh, fear, shyness, crying, and kids pissing themselves, and humorless adult teachers who seem like scary monsters. Yes, that is uh, the first day of school for every kid. I was there, you were there. That is universally relatable. Also, this is something that uh, I really liked on a more, much more personal level. Apparently, uh, these uh, girls' favorite shows growing up were the anime Candy Candy and Gachaman, which is funny to me because at the time she was a kid, around the late 1970s and early 80s, those two shows were really popular in my country as well. It's a small world after all. And yes, since this is about her growing up and experiencing the 
less whimsical truth of the adult world through her own eyes, through her own life experiences. Inevitably, the complicated political history of her country is also brought up a little bit in the background to properly contextualize the history of Taiwan. And of course, by comparison, also the uh, more recent history of the United States since she goes living there right around 9-11. But this film never loses focus of what's important, and what's important is the personal journey of uh, the main character, and also her close friends from childhood occasionally, as we go back and forth between present time and the past, as she visits and uh, just wonders about the times when we were young and we were innocent and we thought that working at an ice cream factory was akin to a Willy Wonka scenario, but it was not. It was a soul-crushing factory job, which her father used to do before his injury. But I will not say all that much about this film. I've said too much already. I will say to you that this is, again, a really, really good, really enjoyable journey into a person's life and their memories, which in terms become universally relatable, because what she goes through is what everybody goes through as they grow up. We leave childhood behind and we have to come to terms with adulthood, but we also end up missing our childhood and wanting to reconnect with the, the simpler times. And there is nothing wrong with that. You should not sacrifice too much on the road to happiness.